Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about inheritance with real life example. All object oriented programming concepts are inspired from real life example. Inheritance is also such a concept. So before understanding what is inheritance in OOP, we have to understand what is inheritance in real life. Consider example of Mukesh Ambani, who is owner of Reliance Industry. He spent millions of dollars and 50 years of his life in building Reliance Industry. But now it's time for him to retire. Mukesh Ambani has a son who will inherit the Reliance Industry from his father. Means he doesn't have to work from a scratch to build a company. He can reuse whatever his father has built and create his own legacy with it. This concept where son gets father's money, responsibility and characteristic is called as inheritance. This similar concept is used in programming. Inheritance is a concept that allows us to use variables and function of one class into another class. Consider class called addition which has method that will add two numbers. Now in future if we want to implement a calculator class that has many functionalities and one of them is to add two numbers. Now I have already written code to add two numbers in addition class which I can reuse using inheritance. Consider addition class as a parent class and calculator class as a child class. With the help of inheritance we can use a method of addition class which is parent class into the calculator class which is child class without object creation. Now let's understand syntax of inheritance. First let's define normal class called addition which will have add method. This method takes two variables as a parameter and then return its sum. Now let's define another class called calculator. Its syntax is like a normal class and it will have variables and function like normal class. So now if calculator wants to use method defined in addition class then we have to use inheritance. So now let's inherit the calculator class from addition class. To make addition class as a parent class of calculator class we have to use extend keyword in the calculator class. So we have to use extend keyword followed by name of a parent class which is addition class. Now all the methods and variables except private methods and variables of addition class are now accessible in calculator class without object creation. For example, we can call this add function in child add method which will calculate the addition of two number and then return its value. Please note that here we are using add method from parent class which is smaller in size but in real life logic of this method will be complex so inheritance can save lot of our efforts. Now let's jump to Eclipse and execute this code. First, we have to define parent class which is addition class. For defining new class, we will right click on package name, then go to new, then select class. We will name this class as parent addition and then click on finish. This class will act as a parent class and it will have add method. So let's define add method over here. This method will take two parameters as an input and return their sum. So now let's define another class which is child class. For defining a class, we'll right click on package name, then new and then class. We will name our class as a child calculator and we will include public static void main so we can execute this program. Now in this class, we have to call method from parent class. So let's use extend keyword to implement inheritance. So I will type extends and then name of a parent class which is parent addition. Now let's call parent class method in our child class. For it, we will define a method called child addition which will take two parameters as an input and then it will return the addition of the two numbers. Here you can see we are calling add a comma b method. This method is defined in parent class but still we can access it without using object. So now let's call child addition method in main method. For it, we will create object of a child class and then call child addition method and save the sum of these two variable in sum variable and then printing that sum variable. Now let's save this program and execute it. As you can see it has written sum is 6 which is addition of 2 comma 4. So in this way even if we have not defined add method in child class we can use it. That's how inheritance promote reusability of the code. Now let's understand types of inheritance. There are total 5 types of inheritance. First type is single inheritance where one parent class can have only one child class and the child class can access variables and methods of parent class. To implement this type of inheritance we have to use extend keyword followed by name of a parent class. The example we have seen earlier in the video about addition and calculator class is an example of single inheritance. The next type of inheritance is multi-level inheritance. As the name suggests, it has multiple levels of parent and child class. Means one parent class can have one child class and a child class can also have another child class that is grandchild class in this type. Child class can access methods and variable of parent class and grandchild class can access variables and method of both parent and grandparent class. To implement this type of inheritance, we have to use extend keyword followed by name of a parent class. In previous example, we have created parent class called addition class 
and calculator as a child class. Now let's create a new class called mini calculator and extend it from calculator class. Now since mini calculator is a child class of calculator and grandchild class of addition, it can access method of both calculator and addition class. Meaning we can access add method in mini calculator class as well. The next type of inheritance is hierarchical inheritance. In this type of inheritance, one parent class can have multiple child classes and both the child classes can access variables and function of parent class. To implement this type of inheritance, we have to use extend keyword followed by name of a parent class in both of the child classes. After using extend keyword in both the child class, we can access the function and variable of parent class. The next type of inheritance is called as multiple inheritance. In this type of inheritance, one child class can have multiple parent classes, methods and variables of both of the parent class. This type of inheritance is not allowed in Java using classes, but we can achieve it using interfaces that we will see in next video. The last type of inheritance is hybrid inheritance. This type of inheritance is combination of two or more types of inheritance. The inheritance you are seeing on the screen is combination of multi-level and hierarchical inheritance. That's it for today's video. In next video, we will learn about polymorphism.